Hello guys. So in the previous video we have created the game over screen. So currently you can disable this game over panel like this. Now before we create the scoring system we will change some settings in this spawner. So for the time to spawn I have assigned 1.8 and for min height minus 4 and for max height minus 2.2 you can play around with these values if you want but these are the values that I am go going to use in this game so now to make the scoring system we will first make the UI for our score so right click on the canvas and create new UI element and this time create a text and we will rename it to score now click on this icon here and uh, click here top center to anchor it uh, onto the top center of our canvas now we will change its width and height so select this rect tool now we can change its width so we will make it as the width of the canvas and uh, for the height we will type in 300 or let's make it 200 now move this score text to the upper side of our canvas and uh, we will write score by default change it to bold and uh, for the font size we will go with uh, let's say 80 now click on this alignment and uh, align it horizontally and vertically to the center now click on this best fit now we will change its color to red we will give it an outline so type in outline now we will also give it a shadow and uh, change the effect distance now we have created our ui for displaying this score so now go to the game manager script and we will make a public variable to refer to reference the score text so make a public text so if your if it doesn't suggest you this text then you have to include this namespace here using unity engine dot ui so we will name our variable as score text score txt and we will also make another variable which is private float and uh, score so it will keep track of our score so now at the beginning of our game our score would be 0 so make it 0 now in the update method we will increment our score variable so let's increment it by time dot delta time so time dot delta time now 
in the update method we will also change the score text so let's write score text dot text so we are accessing the text property of our score text component uh, so let's go to the unity and uh, click on this score text and we can say see that we are accessing this text property of this text component here so now we will make it equal to score plus our score variable so we are adding a string and a float so now let's save this script and go back to the unity and now we have to assign this score text to our game manager so let's drag and drop this score text to the game manager score text field now hit play button and you will see that our score is increasing but it is displaying the float value so we have to convert this float into an integer so let's get back to the script and we will here type cast this score variable which is float into integer so let's type cast it from score from float to integer now save the script and go back to the unity now if we hit play then we can see that now it only displays the integer values so that's it for this video we have implemented the scoring system for our game so in the next video we will implement pause menu so thank you for watching this video